USA, many of the learning institution operation is greatly affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. But this situation taught us to another level of human consciousness, commitment, and creativity. This is the time to reestablish the trust and cooperation within our institution, communities, and between our stakeholders. With this, we assure everyone that our responses are comprehensive, inclusive, and equitable so that no one in our community will be left behind as we continue to progress amid the global health crisis. Our collective response now in the academy as we deliver the new normal services is true blended learning. Working towards the new normal, whether offline or online, we must integrate and reinforce the Eastern Summer State University mission, vision, core values, student development and well-being in all learning activities. Our plans, programs, and activities will consider student readiness, access to devices, and internet connectivity. With the onboarding session today, the institution will provide you our new students the necessary information you need to know how ESOG1 as your chosen institution will equip you for your lifelong learning. Through education in the new normal, quality education is our utmost aim that the institution could provide to our dear students, whether offline, blended, or online. The institution looks for ways in observing health protocols and providing guidelines. Why we do this? We do this to prevent similar pandemic recurring in our society. To the supportive parents and guardians, we thank you for sending your children to Eastern Summer State University. To the committed teaching force of this institution, a salute for the eagerness in providing the learning materials to our new and old students. Let us all pray that in the soonest possible time, you, my dear old, new, returning and transfer students, will see you here face to face in the vicinity of our campus. And in order to see the beauty of your new home, Western Summer State University. Welcome to Eastern Summer State University B1 Campus. Welcome academic year 2020 to 2020. A pleasant day to everyone. Eastern Summer State University is determined to continue in delivering its institutional functions in the areas of instruction, research, and extension, despite the COVID-19 pandemic we are facing. We are seeking to respond as swiftly as possible in our desire to continue to provide quality education to our students in every possible way. Our academics are committed to ensure that students will be given the desired competencies. In alignment with the university's stance, all teaching, learning, and assessment shall be conducted using flexible learning mode for this academic year 2020-2021. Finally, I want to reiterate that your safety and your loved ones is of the utmost importance while keeping that for most in our thoughts, we can continue to work together, remain determined, 
as we transcend to the new normal with the hope for a better tomorrow. In behalf of other university officials, faculty, and administrative staff, I, your campus administrator, Andre C. Pagatpatan Jr., welcome you all to the Eastern Samar State University Giwan Campus. its best to deliver the services the student read despite of the COVID-19 pandemic. The office is an important segment of the academic-related services which cater to the physical, psychological, mental, social, and emotional as well as the moral dimensions of the life of the student. The guidance on testing services helps the students adjust themselves to their school environment, secure a desirable interpersonal relationships, assess their own capacities and limitations, and become more responsible in their decisions and independent in their actions. One of the services that the Guidance Office offers is the Information and Orientation Service. During this time of pandemic, this function aims to assist freshmen and transferees to become oriented with school policies, library, and other student-related services, and to be acquainted with members of the faculty of the different colleges. The virtual orientation that we are currently holding is part of the information and orientation service of the office. Another service that we offer is the testing service. Usually, for incoming freshmen and transferees, part of the enrollment process is the conduct of the college entrance test, which is spearheaded by the guidance office. But during this school year, we have suspended the conduct of the said exam because we remain compliant with the mandates of the interagency task force to refrain large crowd gatherings and to observe social distancing. The Guidance Office also offers the issuance of good moral certificates to the students of the university whether they have already graduated or they are still enrolled in the different colleges of the university. Students who wish to get a good moral certificate should secure a good moral application form from the Guidance Office and pay the necessary amount in the cashier's office before the certificate is released. The heart of the Guidance Office is centered in one of its services, known as the Counseling Service. This is a friendly and facilitative service which provides information and assistance to the students to understand his or her own self and his environment so he can improve his behavior and make better adjustments and intelligent choices. This also allows students to realize their unique needs and solve their own personal problems through a person-to-person -person relationship of the counselor and the counselee. During this time of pandemic, this service should be functional to all studentry. If you wish to talk with the counselor, you can send a private message on the SOG1 Guidance Office Facebook page or you can text this number for further information and queries regarding counseling sessions. Hi everyone, my name is Eva Abletis. I am the head of the library services of SUD1 University Library. 
We know the world is facing a crisis, but SOU1 University Library is here to support the academic community's research, learning, and teaching endeavors. We're still doing what we've always done, but we've taken a few extra steps to keep you safe. To comply with the IATF health and safety protocols, the library has come up with the following service adjustments adapted from the library contingency plan during pandemic crisis, which was approved by the members of the library committee. So to comply with the appropriate social distancing, the library has suspended the use of library spaces that include audiovisual room, reading areas, discussion rooms, and e-learning. You've noticed visible signages throughout all library spaces, increased cleaning, and the library provided a portable hand washer with liquid soap and alcohol available at the entrance of the library. As all classes have moved online or blended learning or a combination of both, Esugoen University Library is still available online. Here are our library services in the new normal. Online book borrowing, online library card application or renewal, remote access to electronic resources, electronic document delivery, virtual reference service, book draft for book returns, and virtual library orientation. How to borrow books online? First, first thing first, you need to have a library card. But how? To apply or renew library card online. First, fill out Google form available in our Facebook account. You will receive a message via a messenger when to claim your library card. When upon claiming, please don't forget to bring one by one ID picture. To reduce the risk to staff and users alike, borrowers should reserve books in advance through Google form a day before coming to the library. Two books can be borrowed for one week during pandemic. If you this will be collected during signing up clearance. Book traps will be provided at the lobby for book returns. So access to electronic resources. Electronic resources under subscriptions are accessible to all SD1 academic community remotely regardless of your location so just contact us for assistance or you may use article book chapter request form and we will do it for you so due to licensing agreement regulations all the SOE faculty staff and students can access e-resources subscribe by university how to request journal article or book chapter first fill out google form available in our facebook account you will receive a message, the status of the request via messenger. So request will be delivered according to your choice of delivery method. So please take note that not all requests need to process due to copyright or availability of the material. Should a request be denied, the library staff will contact you and provide an explanation why the request cannot be processed. Requests typically deliver within three days but it can take longer depending on our internet connection. Signing of clearance is still a requirement before the semester ends. Library patrons are encouraged to settle their library accountabilities before the signing of clearance starts. Library patrons with accountabilities will be notified through chat via messenger or email. Virtual library orientation will be provided through a video presentation. This will be uploaded or posted in our Facebook account. Remember that if you need help at any point during your research process, please contact us for help. For research assistance or information needs, you can communicate with us through a chat via messenger, email, and feedback form through our Uh, I am Jose Cabilis Jr., the Head of Medical and Dental Services here in ESOGI1. The Medical and Dental Services ESOGI1 would like to welcome the freshmen of school year 2020 and 2021. The rise of the recent pandemic has disrupted our way of life, especially your studies. Our government, especially the IATF, have formulated guidelines and protocols to mitigate this disaster. 
The medical and dental services are urging students to observe health protocols as directed by IATF, like proper coughing etiquette, frequent hand washing with soap and water, wearing a face mask and face shield, and physical distancing. All of these preventive measures will cut off the spread of disease and will save lives. Please refer to your student handbook or visit our Facebook page regarding the services offered. Stay at home, be safe. Good day to all SOG1 students who are watching this virtual orientation. My name is Maria Cristina Gagno, the Head of Student Organization and Activities. The Office of Student Organization and Activities provides services to all registered and accredited co-curricular and extracurricular organizations of the university. This office plans, organizes, and supervises activities which enrich students' sociocultural values and leadership capabilities. It formulates and implements guidelines affecting student organization, welfare, and discipline. In order to avoid the rapid spread of the virus, the SOA office will offer the following services. The office will conduct a webinar for leadership training in coordination with the Supreme Student Council officers and invite a resource speaker. Second is to initiate the student cooperatives and income generating projects. For this, the SOWA office will prepare the necessary documents and register this project to the BIR. With regards to the registration of the student's organization, all students' organization of SOB1 will have to submit the requirements for registration and renewal, which will be posted in the SSCG1 official Facebook page. For queries and updates, you may visit our Facebook page. Again, we wish for everyone's safety and good health. Have a good day. Presenting the deans, program heads, and faculty members of the different colleges. College of Engineering and Technology. College of Education.
of Arts and Sciences. of Hospitality Management. Computer Studies despite the work constraints of this COVID-19 pandemic. Our dear students, you have watched and listened to the different student services that the school offers. These services will always be readily available to serve the whole student tree. I hope you were able to understand how these services functions and above all, you get to know your instructors or subject teachers the persons behind the compendium of lessons you just received a week ago. I would like to take this opportunity to inform our students that the situation we are into right now is a challenge. A challenge to all the faculty members because making our compendium of lessons is not just easy and an additional workload as well. A challenge to the students because you have to learn and understand on your own. You have to answer all the assessments in your lessons, which I know for a fact is new to you. Rest assured that your teachers is just a call and text away to guide you. Because of this, 
I am encouraging each and every one of you to be, to be more serious in your studies and to never take things lightly. I am positive that we could all surpass the trials and challenges bombarded to us by this pandemic. Lastly, I would like to express my gratitude to the administration of Esogiwan Campus, headed by Dr. Andres C. Pugatpatan Jr., our campus administrator, for spearheading in the conduct of this virtual orientation. The college deans and the dean of the student and alumni affairs for your cooperation. The instructors from the Information Technology Department for your tireless efforts and dedication to make this virtual orientation possible for our students. Once again, a pleasant day to everyone and let us all stay safe.